Who's a better driver, a human or a robot? Wham, bam, Tesla cam, I hope you're satisfied. We've lined up 20 videos today to show how Tesla's autopilot reacts when it comes face to face with human drivers in various situations and accidents. Get ready for crashes, fails, and saves. William was driving with his family in their Model 3 down a freeway in Richland, Washington when, all of a sudden, an oncoming vehicle crossed the median and headed straight toward them at full speed. William says he didn't expect to see a vehicle coming from the other side of the freeway, so he wasn't able to react very quickly. Luckily, autopilot started to break before he could, which allowed him to dodge the vehicle just in time. Rock debris from the median broke the windshield on their Tesla, scattering rocks all over the paint and causing some damage to the bodywork. The other driver ended up crossing the divider again to get back onto the correct side of the freeway where he stopped for a minute before taking off. William's insurance company tried to locate the individual, but they were unable to do so. Thankfully, the video proved he wasn't at fault for the damage, and they covered all repair costs. Had this not happened in a Tesla, William is convinced he wouldn't have been able to react in time, and his family wouldn't be around to tell this story. That's one point to autopilot, let's keep going. Ben was driving his Model Y in Lawrenceville, Georgia. He was sitting at a red light, and when the light turned green, Autopilot followed the other traffic. But once he got to the middle of the intersection, Autopilot slammed on the brakes just as a Volvo came flying through the intersection, T-boning a pickup truck to Ben's left. Ben is confident that if Autopilot hadn't stopped the car, he would have ended up hitting the Volvo. Ben stopped to make sure everyone was okay before calling the police. He made the Tesla cam video available to all parties involved. That's another point to autopilot. Dracy's was driving his Model 3 a few miles southwest of Manville, Wyoming on US Highway 18. It was pitch dark outside and autopilot was doing the driving. All of a sudden, a deer ran out onto the road, but autopilot didn't react at all. Dracy's applied the brakes only moments before impact, but it was too late. He stopped to check on the deer, but he never found it. It appears it was able to get up and run away. Thankfully, the car was still drivable, and Dracy's was able to continue his trip to Nevada and then back up to Minnesota without any issues. And he was able to get it into a shop a few days later. The repair bill came to $4,500 US dollars, which his insurance company took care of, but he had to pay a $1,000 US dollar deductible. It took two weeks to repair the car, and then he was on the road again. I'm not sure if anyone gets a point here, but I'm gonna call this minus one point for autopilot. Jacob was driving home from work in heavy traffic with autopilot engaged. He gave autopilot a command to merge to the next lane because his exit was coming up. Autopilot spotted an opening and started to change lanes. That's when a BMW merged over from the exit lane, crossing double white lines and hitting Jacob's Model Y in the right wheel and fender and destroying his suspension. The BMW driver refused to give Jacob his insurance information and claimed that Jacob was at fault. In the end, the responding law enforcement assisted Jacob in getting all the information he needed for an insurance claim. Later that night, Jacob texted the BMW driver and he berated him, again accusing him of causing the accident. Armed with the police report and video evidence, Geico is now going after the BMW driver and should have no problem proving that the accident was his fault. That's another point for autopilot. Anthony was driving home from work in Los Angeles, California after a 48-hour shift as an EMT. Autopilot was engaged on his Model 3. A semi-truck locked up its brakes, causing the trailer he was towing to swerve into Anthony's lane. Autopilot was quick to react, and Anthony believes it most likely saved his life. Autopilot scores another point. SB was headed to work one morning with Autopilot engaged on I-80 in Fairfield, California when he noticed a truck that seemed to be unsafely changing lanes. SB's instincts told him an accident may happen, so he was ready to take over from Autopilot. The pickup driver didn't check their blind spot and almost crashed into another car. The car in front of SB tried to avoid the collision, but ended up crashing into the truck instead. SB and Autopilot both applied the brakes and he took over to avoid a collision. Thankfully, both cars were able to regain control. That's one more point to Autopilot for avoiding the entire accident. <laughs>
SB thought about stopping to share the Tesla cam footage, but he couldn't find a safe place to stop nearby, so he decided to call the California Highway Patrol instead and send the video to them. Jay had just picked up his brand new Model 3 and was cruising along with autopilot engaged on the freeway outside Riverside City, California. As he was about to overtake a semi-truck, a big rock fell off the top of the trailer. He noticed the rock right away, but autopilot didn't. He took over from autopilot and swerved around the rock. Nice moves, Jay. That was a close call. That's a point for the humans. Derek was driving his Model 3 in Shanghai, China when Autopilot gave him a front collision warning for no reason. Derek was very confused by this, but Autopilot kept on driving. Ten seconds later, it happened again, but this time it was because an SUV had swerved into his lane. Derek can't help but wonder if his Tesla predicted the future when it gave the first warning. That's another point to Autopilot. Joseph was driving his Model Y down the freeway in Lancaster, California. Autopilot was engaged when he saw the car in front of him swerve to avoid something. However, Autopilot didn't swerve at all, it just ran over whatever it was. Joseph looked back and saw it was some sort of plastic bag. But while he was looking in his rearview mirror, he didn't notice the car in front of him swerve again, this time to avoid a rogue bumper cover on the road. Autopilot sounded an alarm but didn't react, so Joseph quickly took over and tried to avoid it without overcorrecting and losing control of the car. The car slid to the left when he tried straightening out and Joseph thought he was going to hit the wall, but the car handled perfectly and he was able to regain control. Joseph went to the Tesla service center to get a quote for the damage. The front bumper cover had minimal damage, but the fog lights were pushed in and the bracket was broken as well. He was quoted $1,500 US dollars for the repairs. Let's give a thumbs up to Autopilot for the warning, but the point goes to the humans for making the save. This next video is also from Joseph, and in this one he was using Autopilot on US Highway 101 in California. He had his foot resting on the brake pedal just in case, since he knows people around there cut other traffic off like they're driving bumper cars. Just as he anticipated, a BMW driver cut him off. When this happened, he felt Autopilot pushing the brake pedal in before he even had a chance to react, and his foot was literally resting on the pedal. Another point to Autopilot for this one, fastest brake pedal in the Wild West. Okay, at halftime, the score is currently 6-2 with Autopilot in the lead. Let's keep going. Stewart was leaving a supercharger station and needed to cross an intersection to get onto the M5 motorway. The intersection is protected by a very wide stop line, but a woman in an Audi A1 didn't even attempt to stop and blew straight across in front of him. It happened so fast that Stewart didn't even see her coming. He was still applying the accelerator pedal and this emergency stop was performed completely by Autopilot's emergency braking. One more point to Autopilot. Jesse was using Autopilot when he noticed an unmarked cop car two cars behind him. Autopilot was cruising along at the speed limit. Apparently this was too slow for this driver who didn't notice the cop car. They passed multiple vehicles and nearly had a head-on collision with oncoming traffic. Thankfully, the driver was immediately pulled over. That's another point for Autopilot, but I'm guessing that human driver got a point on his license too. Joel is a full self-driving beta tester, meaning he's testing Tesla's latest full self-driving technology. Autopilot was engaged at 35 miles per hour and the FSD visualization was tracking a pedestrian on the left. They looked like they were going to keep walking into the car's path, so Autopilot reacted just in time to make sure the car didn't hit them. Joel didn't even have time to apply the brakes because the car came to a complete stop before his foot could make it to the pedal. He didn't think the guy would have continued in front of the car, but their body language showed no indication they were going to stop either. Better safe than sorry, one more point to Autopilot. Jose was driving his Model Y with Autopilot engaged when traffic up ahead started slamming on the brakes. The driver of a white car was not paying attention and almost lost control of his vehicle. Autopilot slowed down in time for Jose to take over and avoid the car in front of him. That's another point for Autopilot. This next video is also from Jose, but this time he was almost a victim of a Honda bump. Autopilot saved the day as it applied the brakes before he even had time to react. 
the Honda driver actually rolled down his window at the next red light and apologized for his driving. One more point to Team Autopilot. Tesla Roo was driving along on I-75 with Autopilot engaged when a plumbing truck cut in front of him. Autopilot didn't brake, so he had to apply the brakes himself to avoid a crash. That's another point for the humans. A few minutes later, the same truck switched lanes again, almost crashing into a gray Nissan. The Nissan had to swerve into the adjacent lane to avoid getting hit. Can someone please give this guy a set of rearview mirrors? Actually, we're gonna have to deduct a point from the humans for this little stunt. Enrique was driving his two-week-old Model 3 in Ackworth, Georgia. Autopilot was engaged as he approached an intersection. A car snuck out into the intersection and Autopilot blared an alarm and applied the brakes. It continued on through the intersection once the coast was clear. One more point to Autopilot. Ian was driving along the Trans-Canada Highway when a coyote ran out in front of him. Autopilot was engaged, but it didn't react to the animal, so Ian took over and veered to the left. That's another point for the humans. Bill had just crossed over the 11,000 foot Independence Pass in Colorado and was using autopilot on the winding 19 mile descent into Aspen at about 35 miles per hour. He made this trip on autopilot many times before and autopilot had always handled the well-marked road perfectly. But this time when he was near Aspen, he decided to disengage autopilot and just enjoy driving the last few miles himself. He really shouldn't have done that. Watch what happened when Bill must have dozed off for just a split second. The Tesla was totaled, but Bill made it out without a scratch. His Tesla had saved his life. He's not sure if he was overtired or maybe slightly hypoxic, but after he stopped cursing, his first thought was, why the didn't I have autopilot on? On the bright side, this was just the excuse he needed to order a brand new Model S the next day. Points lost for the humans, though. AJ was driving along the San Francisco Bay Bridge using autopilot when he felt it engage the brakes ever so slightly to maintain a safe follow distance from a Chevy he'd caught up to. At that exact moment, a typical BMW driver was aggressively closing the gap behind him and must have mistaken the braking as a sign of aggression. He taunted AJ and his wife by giving them death stares and moving around suspiciously in his car, as if he was getting ready to fire a gun something that has become frighteningly common on Bay Area highways in recent years. AJ shrugged as if to ask, what did I do? That's when the BMW driver decided to take things up a notch. AJ tried to accelerate away from the conflict, but he had nowhere to go, and he figured that changing lanes would only make him more agitated. When the BMW driver caught up to him again, he threw a Popeye's cup hitting one of the Tesla's rear windows, but thankfully not causing any damage. He then overtook and brake checked AJ before fleeing like a coward. AJ says the joke is on him though. If we analyze the video frame by frame, we can see he actually spills his drink on himself before throwing the cup. AJ hopes he felt pretty stupid for spilling his drink inside his own car. That's another point lost for the humans. Well, here are our final results. Do you agree with them? Leave a comment and let us know which side you're on. And we'll see you all next Sunday. Thanks for watching.